a shot of scenic view, a spoonful of discovery, a capsule of stories and history. Such are the ingredients of the healing potion of this town. Nabara ng kablaaw. I'm Irene, your travel girlfriend. Come with me and together, let's absorb all the magic this spellbounding town has in store for us. Dito lang sa Ganda Mo, Pangasinan! Going to Agno isn't a hassle. If you're gonna take the bus from Manila, the schedules of buses from Cubao going directly to Agno are 7 a.m., 7 p.m., and 8 p.m. And by private car, tahakin lang ang Tiplex and exit at Luisita going to Kamiling. Pwedeng tumaan via Bani or Mabin. Visiting famous landmarks will be twice as fun when you bring a friend with you. And that friend is me. Hi, I'm Mary Ann. She'll be joining us in our Agna adventure. Be mindful. This town may be far, but the destinations aren't seas apart. There are two neighboring landmarks accessible by feet from Kabungawan Barwan Beach. Catch the excitement and adrenaline rush in the ever-famous Dot Pool and the tranquil, kid-friendly waters of the pristine Masangret Cove. Five minutes walk from Kabungawan Barwan Beach to Rocket Trails, you'll reach the famous Dot Pool which is 20 feet in depth and diameter. It is a perfect spot for people who love to immerse themselves in the grandeur of the sea and photo shoot. The Masangret Cove, just 5 to 10 minutes walk from the depth pool, is such a picture-perfect site that people, both locals and visitors, unofficially called it Blue Lagoon after the 80s movie of the same title. So, kapag nasa bayan ka na sa town proper, Pwede ka nang magrenta ng tricycle na nagkakahalaga lang ng 600 to 800 papunta dito sa Masangret Bar 1. So dito makikita ang depth pool at ang um, Masangret Cove or tinatawag din nilang Blue Lagoon. So may tatlo po tayong entry points na may pay parking each entry point. So you can take the Kabungawan Beach Bar 1. Malapit na siya, 10 minutes po going to uh, Masangret Cove or the Blue Lagoon and five minute walk po going to Depth Pool. And then the Mary Hill, if you take the Mary Hill Road, um, it's nestled between the two uh, destination, the Depth Pool and the Masangrat Cove. May mga accommodations na tayo dito na available, so nag-re-rate sila from 25 up to 12,000, depende sa number of packs, saka sa type ng rooms or kung open cottages ba siya, cabanas, uh, dun po nag-range yung um, prices po nila, yung rates po ng mga accommodation. Ang uh, turista po na pumupunta po dito, pinagsasabihan po namin na hindi sila basta-basta pumunta po dyan sa Ditpol at saka sa Masangrit Cove kasi Kung malalaki ang alon, maraming nadidisgrasya po. 
at saka yung mga masura nila, huwag sila magbabasura dito para malinis ng aming death pool at saka masangrit ko po. Binabantayin nila po yung mga turista po para hindi sila basta-basta pumunta dyan. Pag madidisgrasya po sila, pag malalaki kasi ang alon, binabantayin nila yung mga nagrurunda po. It's the universe's way of saying whatever you want to be, you can be just like the splashing waters of the dot pool and the picture-perfect Masangret Cove. Find your balance. Your core is your rock. Like the rock formations resembling umbrellas carved by nature, this wonder located here in Sitio Sabangan Norte, Barangay Buboy, will certainly intensify your connection to your inner power. It is believed that centuries ago, this is all waters. So, as the centuries comes, um, the water slowly died down and all these rocks uh, emerged and eventually it became like this umbrella rock formation. Because of the water, it has been like uh, hundreds and hundreds of years bago ma-form ang mga rocks na ito. Kaya po, inaalagaan po natin ito dahil gawa po ito ng kalikasan. Napuform ito sa impact ng mga waves, yung water, yung mga ganon, di ba? Kung baga sa ano eh, uh, nagkakaroon siya ng baywang, yung mga form ng mga ganon. So, ito naging, uh, nagkaroon na siya ng parang, Payong, or some says it's mushroom-like. Buhay ng mga bato din ito kasi makikita nyo dun sa taas kung maano may mga uh, halaman siya dahil sa mga moisture. One of the tourist spots here in Agno is the Umbrella Rocks. Sa halagang 200 to 250 pesos snarkila sa tricycle ay mapupuntahan mo na ito. There are available cottages that you can rent for 500 pesos and they also have an air-conditioned room for 6 packs that you can rent for 3,000 pesos. Entrance fee and environmental fee is 20 pesos per head. You can also do camping here for 100 pesos with your own tents and libre naman if you rented your own cottage. Visiting the Umbrella Rocks, you can also rent an ATV for 300 pesos for 30 minutes. Umbrella Rocks shall serve as a reminder that every strike and every pain carves a beautiful masterpiece that is you. Find what's not for you and bring only memories worth keeping, like the encounter you'll have in Aluling Beach. In only 15 minutes from the town proper, this 4.7 kilometer long nature's wonder will leave you much to your imagination.
spend the night and enjoy the coastal wind by the sea when you check in at the accommodations available along this stretch of a lonely beach. Rates start at 2,500 pesos up to 12,000 pesos depending on size, services, and facilities offered. Take a side trip to Bangal Crags in less than 10 minutes from Alulung Beach. A walk through rocky terrains and wide meadows. Your experience will be even more interesting with the view of tall waves splashing through big boulder rocks depending on the weather. Nevertheless, the wide endless sea behind, it is already a sight to behold. Bangol taken from yung kasi kapag ka may weather disturbances malakas yung ano natin yung waves na humahampas doon sa mga malalaking tipak ng bato which is the crags and uh, kapag ka humampas siya merong sounds na um, lumalabas and another thing is yung hugis kasi ng bato na yung yung crags na tinatawag natin is para siyang bungo. So meron siyang dalawang mata na parang may ilong. So from that uh, point naging bangul ang tawag nila as time passes by. So bangul plus yung uh, bato is bangul crags. When you go back home, take with you photographs and memories of the shimmering silver sands of the Alolang Beach, the bright blue waters that lead to the West Philippine Sea, and the fun little facts and novelty stories of the friendly locals. Lemony Hotel Camp John Hay, your gracious host in Baguio City. For inquiries and reservations, call us at 0917-526-7049 or 074-300-6525 or email us at rsvn.lemonade at amg.com. Lemonade Hotel, your gracious host in Baguio City. Seek wisdom, broaden your understanding. This is how an almost 200-year-old St. Catherine of Alexandria Parish and its congregation molded the values and beliefs of Agnoans into who they are today. Peaceful, loving, and kind. Christianity here in Agno was established in the year 1601. This church is one of the oldest church in Pangasinan. It was built in the year 1830s. At alam nyo ba, na ang retablo na ito ay replica lamang ng original. Because its original retablo was sold to finance the repair of this church in the year 1978. And another interesting fact, 
Ang pagpapatayo rito ay ginamitan ng maraming egg whites para mas tumiba. Kaya kahit ilang bagyo man ang lumipas, heto pa rin at nakatayo. Church is a place that judges no one, a place that gives value even if you have none. This church is a testament to that. Carved in its walls and panels are stories and wisdom earned throughout the history. Be proud of who you are, even if no one does. For every unique identity has its own story. Who would have known that this meek little tree would serve a huge impact in this precious little town? The name Agno was derived from a species of swamp tree called Agno Casto, locally known as Dangla, a tree tree used for medicinal concoctions to relieve pain and illness that grew abundantly in the locality. And in time, Agno was retained to be the name of the town. Agno Casta is a gift, an irreplaceable one. It is an identity and a symbol of this town's reputation. Without a doubt, it is a foreshadowing of the purpose Agno is meant to fulfill. Dito sa Agno, ang mga tao dito ay nagkakaisa. Tsaka peaceful din dito sa bayan namin. Naging impact yung tourism nito kasi magaganda rin ang beach namin kasi dinadayo talaga at saka important nito, malinis pa. Kasi dito sa amin parang pura kayo din eh, dun sa may bagatanan, white sand eh. At saka isa pa, hindi pa gastado masyado kasi eh. Kukunti pa lang pumupunta rito, mga turista, maraming talaga impact ng tourism sa, ano, sa amin dito sa Aldo. Anyan Agno is the tagline of the tourism of the municipality. So we aim to wow the tourists and appreciate the beauty of Agno. The mission and vision of the local government unit of Agno is to become one of the premier destinations in Pangasinan. So currently, we are improving our infrastructures and road access to cater all the future guests and visit our hometown, visit Agno, and appreciate its beauty, its healing power. With the tagline, Anyan Agno, we would like you to invite you to visit Agno and uh, appreciate and be wow and be amazed of what Agno can offer to you. Uh, mga kababayan natin taga ibang lugar, kung gusto niyo pumunta rito sa Agno, anytime, you're all welcome. Prepare for success, we're bound for greater things. This nature's wine that feature natural flavors of different tropical fruits locally sourced will put Agno's name in the map when it comes to craft winery. Nagsimula akong mag-experiment ng wine noong 2015. Pagkagaling kong ibang bansa, eh, nasanay tayo sa trabaho. Eh, kailangan ko na may paglilibangan. 
pumunta ako ng farm, maraming nahuhulog ng mga bayabas, mga prutas, nasasayang eh. Pagpunta mo naman ng palengke, sobrang dami din ng mga supply dyan, mga santol, mga gano'n. Eh, walang bibili, kahit ipabigay mo, walang may gusto kasi halos lahat naman may mga prutas. Sabi ko, ano bang magandang gawin dito? Yun, naisip ko, fruit wine making. Post 2017, nirestro na namin, naging official ng simulan talaga nito na naka-permit na 2017. Nakatulong ito ng malaki din kasi yung mga problema namin pa na ibenta ng mga prutas, meron na siyang market, hindi na nabubulok. Tapos uh, lalo itong duhat, mga libo na yung kilo na ginagawa namin. Kaya yung ibang barangay, bumibili na rin ako sa kanila ng mga ibang prutas, like Cuyabano, du duhat, star apple. Ang maharvest natin doon sa isang kilong prutas, tatlong litro na tubig, isang kilong sugar, makakarvest na tayo doon ng mga 2.5 bottles na na ganito. Ang step doon, pupili muna tayo ng magandang prutas. Huwag tayong gumamit ng prutas na yung medyo nabubulok na. Kumbaga, yung pwede natin kainin pa kung nasarapan tayo doon sa prutas na yun, yun ang ideal na gagawin alak. Siguradong masarap din yung yung kalalabasan niya. Pagkatapos natin, hugasan na lahat ng mga gamit natin, supposed to be dapat stainless, tapos hugasan ng mabuti. Ang gagamitin nating tubig para sa pag paggawa ng alak, eh, pwede rin naman yung mga, rip, mga galing sa mga repelling station. Pag pang commercial ang ginagamit namin yung puti, pero pag pang sarili, pwede naman yung, yung pula. Mas ma-clear kasi ang kalalabasan ng yung white sugar, yung refined. Kaya yun po ang ginagamit namin. Papakuloan natin, huwag naman natin sobrahan yung kulong-kulo. Pag alam na natin na na-extract na, na yung, yung prutas, yung nutrients niya, Pwede na natin siyang i-stop yung, yung apoy niya. Tapos palamigin natin. Pag malamig na, saka natin siya titimplahan ng sugar at yes na at ilalagay doon sa jar. Pero pag isama niya yung pulp niya, yung mismong laman, pwede nyo na yung ihalo yung sugar habang niluluto siya. Para hindi nyo na problema magtunaw. Then after nyo nang mailagay doon sa, sa container, maghihintay tayo ng ilang buwan, 2 months to 3 months para magkaroon na siya ng, ng alcohol. Sa 2 months, pwede nyo siyang tikman, mag-add another isang buwan ulit hanggang sumabot siya ng 3 months. Yun, medyo matastas na rin yung alcohol content niya. Pwede na siyang ibote. Tapos habang nasa bote siya, kung gusto niya pang tumaas, huwag niyo muna siyang inumin, i-stack niyo siya ng mga 6 months to 1 year. Yun, talagang nakakalasing na po yung alcohol content niya. Nakakarating na sa all over the Philippines kasi meron akong reseller din na nakamember siya sa Shopee, so Minsing Visayas, Mindanao, tapos dito sa Metro Manila, tapos yung mga balikbayan, kumukuha rin sila dito pa nagbabakasyon sila. Ang plano namin, pasokin yung mga mall. Doon kasi, stable na yung market doon. Ito yung mga, ito yung best seller namin. Itong dalawang ito, yung Guyabano. Kasi alam naman natin, ang mangosteen ay talagang super fruits yan. Napakaraming gam, uh, health benefits nating makukuha, like antioxidant. Ito namang Guyabano, anti-cancer, anti yung mga may bukol-bukol. Kaya ito yung malakas uh, mabenta sa akin. Taste the creativity and passion from these flavorful wines. It is not just a brand for the winemakers, but also a source of living for the fruit farmers in Agno and in neighboring towns and provinces. Looking for a place to stay in Baguio City? Find your calm at Hotel Supreme. A good dip at their pool. Clean and comfortable rooms with a view. Accommodating staff.
can also enjoy a sip of coffee at their coffee shop. Good food for a good mood at the restaurant. Spacious halls for events and many more. A perfect balance of business and relaxation all at Hotel Supreme. Feed it all. Let go of all your worries for a moment. Walk in peace through the creamy white sands. Touch the cool waters of tranquility. Set the spirit free in the presence of nature's beauty of this well-kept secret paradise, the Kalapnet Beach. Natawag po ito na Kalapnet Beach kasi yung kalap na pagkuha at saka yung uh, tawag sa net yung ginagamit sa panguli ng isda. So, ikot, uh, ikot in Ilocano. Para po sa mga nagbabalak na pumunta rito sa barangay Makabubo ni Sitio Kalapnet Beach, eh, pwede lang po silang pumunta sa barangay hall namin at para masamaan po sila na pumunta rito. Para sa amin po, uh, napakagandang nagkaroon kami ng ganitong beach dito sa barangay Makabubo ni. Para po sa mga karamihan, makilala po itong barangay namin na isa sa pinakamagandang tourist spot dito sa Agno, Pangasinan po. Getting to Kalapnit is a 45 minutes to 1 hour ride. 600 to 800 pesos ang arkila ng tricycle papunta rito. No stores are available in the area, so be sure to bring snacks to fist on while relaxing by the cottages that you can rent for 500 pesos. After photo shoot, sightseeing, and swimming, you can set up your personal tents for an overnight stay. Kung maaari, uh, iwasan maligo na nakainom. Tapos yung mga bata, dapat kailangan bantay sarado. Huwag nilang, hayaang, huwag nilang pabayaan na... Maliligo, naliligo sila mag-isa, dapat may kasama. Kasi kung minsan, yung mga bata is pumupunta sa gitna. Kaya kailangan din yung mga may bantay. O, para po may iwasan natin kung ano man yung mga iba't ibang sako na, sir. Kasi ang dagat natin dito ngayon is ma ma medyo malakas yung current niya. O, kung minsan, kahit nasa gilid ka, malakas yung higop niya pa, gitna. O, may mga BDRR mo po naman tayo. Kung kailangan po ng MDR, uh, tinatawagan naman po kami agad, then pumupunta po kami agad. Nestled in the northeast side of this enchanting town, this natural beauty here in Sitio Kalapnit, Barangay Makabubuni, is a destination worth the travel. something new 15 to 20 minutes from the town proper there to be brave and set your fears aside tickle the adrenaline with activities that will surely be unforgettable scream jump laugh the bagatanan beach will ignite your love for life secluded area, Abagatanan is a small fishing village that is getting popular to the tourists. For 300 to 400 pesos na arkila sa tricycle, you can enjoy snorkeling, camping, beach bombing and hopping, banana boat riding, among others. For those who want to stay overnight, accommodations are available for 2,000 to 12,000 pesos depending on number of guests and room types and services. And may mga available din na cottages for 500 pesos. Ship na po pa, basta nandito lang po ako na lifeguard nila na habang pumapasok sila, pinapaalalahanan ko na kung ano yung mga dapat nilang gagawin po. Kung baga, ano, mga 
may mga kapansanan, huwag natin pabayaan na nag-iisa, lalo na yung mga bata, dapat na may bantay yung mga magulang para maiwasan natin ang disgrasya. At saka kung ano yung mga hindi dapat na karapat-dapat na gagawin dito, huwag nilang gagawin. Ang, kung ano yung lang gagawin nila, maligo lang o ano. At saka pinagbabawal ko yung mga tumatalon-talon sa mga bato-bato po dahil mababaw lang po yung mga batuhan dito, baka madisgrasya lang po sila. Ganun po ang ah, nandito po ako na lifeguard na nagpapaalala po sa kanila. Sa oras ng beach po namin, pagpaligo uh, dito sir, mga 5 uh, a.m., ang close naman po mga 6.30 ng gabi po. Lahat ng pupunta po dito sa Abagatanin, ship po tayo dito sa Abagatanin. At saka lahat ng pupunta dito, kailangan parati tayong masigla, masaya. Nandito po si Arnel Orkesa na lifeguard ninyo. Meron po tayong mga ginagawang clean up drives dito. Every monthly po, meron po talaga mga volunteer group na nagpupunti po dito. Bukod sa mga naglilinis po ang mga taga dito din po mismo para po mapanatili na malinis dito at kahit papano po ay mas presentable po sa ating mga uh, turista nagpupunta po. Um, pinapaalala po natin sa kanila, yung mga basura po nila, ilagay po sa tamang Uh, lalagyan sa mga may mga basurahan po naman po tayong mga nakadesignate sa mga cottages natin ay para makapunta po dito uh, magpabook po sila sa mga transients natin sa mga beach houses po natin kasi minsan po pag magwo-walk in lang sila hindi po natin alam po libok na mas maganda po siguro na makipag-coordinate tayo sa ating mga transients sa mga beach houses natin bago po tayo magpunta Having the longest shoreline in the province with almost 27 kilometers, every definition of fun is within the ice reach. And Abagatanin Beach is one that can offer both energy and calmness, noise and stillness, lonesome and togetherness. to its name, healing is this town's magic. In vagueness, clarity. In agony, comfort. In every searching soul, a home where they belong. Because here in Agna, we, we feel, feel, we heal. heal. Traveling through Agno's beautiful places was truly an amazing experience. We explored pretty landscapes and learned more about local traditions. Each place we visited had its own special experience to offer, but among them, visiting the St. Catherine of Alexandria Parish Church stands out as the most interesting part of the journey. It serves as a historical and cultural anchor showcasing the town's evolution through its intricate architecture. Beyond its religious significance, it functions as a hub for community life, offering a profound connection to the town's spiritual heritage and cultural richness. However, my greatest realization from this whole journey wasn't just about ticking off places on a list. It was a personal connection to the soul of Agno leaving me with cherished memories and a deep appreciation for the tapestry of diversity that makes this town truly exceptional. This adventure opened my eyes to the wonders of my beloved hometown. I have discovered new destinations I didn't expect to exist. I tried new things and activities that I have been dreaming of since I was a kid. And my heart is filled with joy as we explored the beauty of Agnes' famous Umbrella Rocks. From the name itself, the rock formations resembling umbrellas were carved by nature. Also, the view of sunset from Umbrella Rocks is breathtaking. I enjoyed filming and didn't feel any pressure. As a first time being a host, I really enjoyed this journey so much. If possible, I don't want it to come to an end. 
This adventure made me realize how lucky and blessed I am as an agnolong.